Okay, so the last several times I played against the Zerg, uh, 1v1, I got my butt kicked. That's because I, when I did the recon with the Turian, I had no idea what the units were that I was fighting. I didn't know if they could attack the ground, the air. I didn't know how powerful they were. I didn't know what their strengths and weaknesses were. So, last several games I've been trying to practice with the Zerg against the AI. <laughs> I was doing terrible. But I think I figured out a build that might be worthwhile. I haven't looked online. I haven't watched any videos or anything like that. So, I don't really know. Um if this is something that people already do or if this is something that's just a waste of time um but i was on medium with the ai with the Terran, and then i sucked so bad with the zerg that i went down to easy and then this last game i just played i uh went back up to medium so i think i might be doing some a little something right i guess um probably some things wrong one thing i know for sure is is that these Hatcheries, I guess they're called, um, are like the center focal point of the Zerg. So, the thing is, is that while these drones, um, I think they're called, yeah, these drones collect, I think, quicker than most of the other races, um, they also, you also have to use them to hatch other buildings and things like that. So, there's, there's a lot going on just right here. Um, a lot of weak, a lot of weaknesses. One thing I just did uh, by accident when I was talking to you is not, I, I've seen people send these little overlords over here, and I had no idea why. And I was like, oh, it's not a big deal; they can't do anything. But it's actually a huge deal because what that does is it allows uh, Zerg players to do something that's rather unique. You can build a, I guess it's called like a nexus network. Um, and it's pretty powerful if you can do it right, if you can get it quick. So, that's something I'm going to try to do right now. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll just get this going. Get the hotkeys and I'm thinking and talking and it's all too much. <laughs> so, once, like I said, I'm already at 400 minerals. I mean, with these guys, it's it's absolutely insane how fast you can um, get get minerals. So I heard I read somewhere um, uh, one of, on the group I was, on the StarCraft Two group I'm a part of that some people like to run like two or three spawns or something or pools. I have no idea. Um, I like to have a couple of these because uh, the upgrades are kind of important. Um, and this is one of the things right here that I always fail to do. So I need a spawning pool to upgrade this guy. So the faster these guys come in, the faster I can these, upgrade these things. So one thing I know also is, is that I need these need to be upgraded quickly too. Here's another downfall. So because I've been playing with the Tyrant for so long, that I always forget that even though I send a, um, a drone over here to build these guys out, I forget that um, that you have to send another another drone to actually um, start mining it. So that's another downfall. And here we go. Keep forgetting to do this. So I don't even need to waste my time with those upgrades, so that's fine. Zerg, I, I only needed really one of them. I don't know why I read there. I needed... Uh, three of them. So. No. Alright, so... Get a couple of these going, group these guys together. See, I do that again, mother... I don't know how to ungroup these things. Hopefully when they hatch, they just go away. If anybody can tell me how to do that, that'd be swell. Nope, see, they just... What a disappointment. See how that screws me up now? Now I got a tab to get over here. 
Hotkeys, or Terran hotkeys, or whatever. So I got my I got my guy over here. He's um, gonna be watching out. So he's 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 checking me out. So no big deal. Whatever. Now there's a like I guess a, a cannon rush or something like that where this guy can like just start laying pylons and stuff. Um, someone said that was a cheese move. I don't even know what that means. So here's the deal. I think I'm going a little bit slower than the last game, mostly because I'm trying to talk to you guys and air out my thoughts, but we'll see what's going on. I had to get a, a layer down. I know I'm clicking on these things a lot because if I, I group my hotkeys and then I got a tab, so it's messing me up. So, let's see. Come on. Oh, shoot. Another thing I didn't do is, um, you gotta build one of these guys. So, these are the ones that I want to go in there with. These, um, Hydralisk, I guess they're called. So, they also, um, Um, little brain busters is because I want to uh, stack up on my supplies because when I start building out these guys it's gonna be resource intensive Alright. Well. Uh, here. Guys. 
tell you. We require more Vespian gas. Of course you do. Like I said, so these things—I I mean, I got a lot of resources here. So these things right here, I mean, they just—they're—they're the Zerg world. I mean, that's a center focal point. I mean, they have to build—you have to build drones, and you have to build buildings with the drones, and then you also have to build army units with these things. So, um, that's what I didn't want to run into right there. That issue. So, um, they truly are like. If you're playing up against the Zerg hatcheries or whatever they're called, these things are these things are the weakness. That's true. And like I said, if you can get I'm trying like hell to try to get these guys out of here, so if I can pull it off, then it'll be uh, well worth it. And there it is. So, all right, just a couple more. Okay guys, here it is. This is this is the deal. So I gotta get this guy close enough.
So the weakness here for the Protoss is these pylons, right? pretty slow. There's a lot of stuff I could do better. Uh, just talking things out here. So. These things don't have a lot of eyesight, and I know there's invisible troops and things like that, so. Um, you don't want to get this, I guess, move off pretty quickly.
Not really sure where the rest of these guys are. But anyway, that's that's basically it, man. So let me know what you guys think.